hi and welcome to Foolish's Reviews, a channel where we talk about all things beauty which includes makeup, skincare and sometimes hair care. So if you're interested in any of those, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to so be notified every time I post, which is Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And today I'm reviewing the ColourPop Fade Into Hue eyeshadow palette. It's a 30 shade palette that I'm very excited to review. It's what I'm wearing on my eyelids right now. So keep watching to see some product info, application, where you can see how I got this look. Um, and then a wear test and then the review or jump straight to the review at this time. I've wanted to review a ColourPop palette for the longest time, a new ColourPop palette. But they release so many uh, new eyeshadow palettes almost every week that it's kind of hard to pick which one I should review. And when I do pick it, it's just kind of becomes old news so this was a palette that I thought was very very interesting why because it has all the colors of the rainbow I believe I don't think I have a good eyeshadow palette that has all of these uh, bright colors I did have a BH Cosmetics uh, take me to Brazil palette but the pigments in there were very much disappointing it was very underwhelming so I wanted to see if Colourpop did it right or not and this is what I'm wearing right now so if you want to see the application, you can you can do so. But before doing that, let's take a closer up look at this palette and let's see a bit of product info about this palette, what the finishes are, and everything else basically. This palette features a mixture of sparkling metallics, blinged out pressed glitters, and the richest mattes. It's highly pigmented shadow that applies evenly and feels ultra velvety and silky. This long wearing formula contains a unique combination of softer powders, adheres easily to the eyes, gives a soft focus effect and blends smoothly and evenly. Now it features four different finishes, firstly matte which is um, for example this blue shade that I'm also wearing on my eyes today and then this peach shade um, treasure those are mattes Then there is a metallic shade which is a hot copic is what, what I'm wearing also Novo this purple that's also what I'm wearing um, other examples are this retro dream over here that looks absolutely delicious and there are pure glitters like the kaleidoscope which is also what I'm wearing right now um, a lucky charm and then there are matte sparkles um, for example the selfie this this lilac shade that is um, that has some sparkle in it but it has a matte uh, kind of finish which is kind of contradictory but that's interesting to me um, as well as watermark I don't know if you can see the glitter, the sparkle in here, but it definitely is there. So now if you're curious about how well they apply and how smoothly they glide on to the, to the lids or not, keep watching to see the application and also a tutorial kind of of how I got this look and how I created this look. I created this look because I was kind of confused as to what shades I should use because all of these look so beautiful and I wanted to do like the color stories um, justice so I kind of took a poll on my Instagram and a lot of people said they wanted me to incorporate the blue and the purple shades the the color stories and that's what I did I hope that it looks as good as it does on um, under natural lights so keep watching to see that and after that I'll show you a wear test and then we can move on to the review so I've already got my brows and my eye primer done so I can jump straight to to the palette. What I'm going to do is create an eye look from these two columns, the blues and the purples. I'm going to mix and match. So I'm going to zoom in so you can see more precisely what I'm doing on my eyes as well as how they're playing out on my lids. I'm going to take this pastel blue shade which is Take It Easel. Then I'm going to take the shade Selfie, uh, which is kind of like a very sparkly, shimmery, um, pastel lilac shade. And I will take it right under the blue shade that I just did.
Then I'm going to take the shade Iconic, uh, which is a matte. And kind of define the crease. Now I'll take this deep purple shade, I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm not even going to try it. And I'm going to just do it on the outer corners to deepen the entire look. Now in the middle of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Nouveau, which is kind of like a shimmer purple. And I'm going to use my finger. And then I'll take the shade Hot Copic, this one which is also a shimmer shade. I'm going to use my other finger to apply it in the inner corners. And I'm going to go for the shade um, Kaleidoscope, which is completely glitter. And that's the shade that kind of drew me to this palette. And I've been wanting to use this ever since I got my order. It's, it's so stunning. It looks so stunning. This one over here. Right over here. I'm going to pick up the pigment with my fingers. It's going to like kind of disperse it all over my lid and then kind of uh, blend it out very very softly because I don't want all the glitter to just disappear Now I'm not usually a glitter person I don't really like glitter eyeshadow or glitter anything at all but I think this looks very 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 amazing but we're gonna um but i'm just gonna go off camera right now and finish the rest of my makeup including the rest of my eye makeup and then i'll be back to share my first impression thoughts and then i'm gonna go into the review and here it is here is the final look i am going to give you guys a closer up look into uh how my eye makeup looks i did mess up a bit of the eyeliner and then the lashes so pay no attention to that but we're doing the eyeshadow that's what that uh, is what's most important and after that I'm gonna give you my first impressions and what I think about this palette for now and then the next video is going to be about the review So as for my first impressions, I think that the palette overall is very nice. The finishes are very nice as well. The pastel, this one, Take It Easel, is maybe not the best one, uh, especially because it's in a matte uh, finish, so it's not as smooth as other shades. It's a bit more crumbly, um, but otherwise all of the shades perform really, really nicely. Now what I need to see um, in the wear test is how well the shadows hold up the glitter as well like does it melt onto my skin or something because I have gotten like a few specks here and there onto my skin right now and it's just really hard to pick it off because it's kind of embedded in the foundation so I'm gonna see how well the glitter holds up how well the shimmers last and the look entirely how long that lasts and I'm gonna be back after a wear test of five hours to come back and show you guys how the close-up of the eyes look and then we're gonna go into the review 
but my first initial impressions is that I think it's a really good palette um, it's a nice rainbow palette if you're into color a lot then this is a palette you might enjoy um, but that's it for now we're gonna get more into it in the review so I'll keep watching okay so here I am after a wear test of five plus hours and this is how my makeup looks I do think that it has held up pretty nicely, it hasn't creased or anything, which is what I prefer, uh, but I do see a lot more glitter specks here and there, a lot more than what I, than what I had um, when I first applied it, which, which is kind of expected when, you, when it comes to um, glitter uh, finishes anyways, so that's not such a big deal. Uh, it's not as much. I would say that at least 90% of that glitter shade has retained on my lids, which is what we want. So uh, what I'm going to do now is take my makeup off and see if this kind of stained my lids or not. And then we're going to go into the review. Okay, so now that I've removed my makeup and I've seen that there is no staining on my lids, we can just get into the review and, and I'm going to start it off with the positives that stuck out to me or my likes. And first of all is the variety of shades. You get 30 shades in here with 6 different color stories. You get 4 different finishes. I absolutely love that. Which I know it's not like an everyday kind of palette, but when you want to experiment, this is the palette that you would often reach for which brings me to number two that it has different finishes it's not just a matte palette or just a shimmer palette or just a glitter palette it, the, you have different finishes in here so you can have your makeup look be um dramatic and, and very glam or be very like neutral kind of if you stick to these kind of shades over here number three i love that the shades are very very creamy um when i was doing my swatches and i was using my fingers to like do all of the swatches it was very creamy it didn't feel any crumbliness or any um chalkiness in them so it's very creamy to not just use uh with your fingers on but also while you're using a brush it feels very creamy and not so resistive on your lids number four i love that all of the shades are very very pigmented um, except for the pastels obviously because the pastels are supposed to be duller um, i did have a bit of struggle with this uh pastel blue which is take it easel that was a little difficult for me to work with, but other than that, all of the shades in here are very much pigmented. Um, you can see some of my swatches where I've done um, swatches of all of the shades, and I didn't like go over the swatch to make it darker or brighter or more pigmented. It's just that one swipe. So I think that it has... The whole palette in general has a really nice pigmentation, and this is what was... Uh, wrong with the palette that I was talking about like the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil was the name uh, There are two editions the original and then the Rio uh, version the Rio version is uh, I believe um, Shimmers and the original is all mattes, but the pigmentation was very 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 faint if any at all Number five, like I mentioned, it has it did not stain my eyelids. Why am I mentioning that because sometimes when I use um cheaper uh, eyeshadow palettes and I use colors like colors other than like blues or reds or something instead of just uh, nudes and you know your average browns my lids get a bit stained. I use a lot of blues and purples in my look and nothing kind of stayed on my lids or, or was difficult to remove from my lids. It was very very um, easy to remove and I was very surprised that it was it was that easy to remove that much of color from my eyelids if that makes any sense so that is perfect for you and if you can and, and if you notice this row which is supposed to be like in the rainbow it's supposed to be a red but this is actually a pink um column and this shade it even though it might look like it's a red shade in the camera like this but it's actually a bright kind of um uh, fuchsia kind of color so you know and, and reds are very much um prone to leave stains on your lids so 
again, nothing to worry about when you're using this palette. Number six, I love that it did not crease. Now, one of the very recent palettes that I tried was the Dominique Cosmetics uh, Transition Palette, which I had really high hopes for. It creased a lot. I, un I don't understand why, because I used the same primer that I did uh, today so I, I'm, I was very confused as to why that is and that was just a very disappointing experience obviously because I didn't really have very many very much hope from this palette because every, whatever rainbow palette I've tried or colorful palette I've tried from any brand at all has turned out to be quite a disappointment either in um, the texture or the creasing or whatever but this did not crease on my lips at all and I was wearing a lot of different finishes number seven is the blend it was very much easy to blend even though I used the shades um, which are particularly harder to blend out like purples. Purples are really hard to blend. A lot of uh, palettes that I've tried uh, purples from, they are the hardest because they are the most, they're the most stiffest, uh, most resistive and most hard to work with. But this was a dream to work with to be honest. I was kind of worried going in with this, uh, with this shade, this one deep purple over here. Um, the name that I cannot pronounce, but I was very, very ecstatic to um, see how well it worked. It actually worked better than the pastel blue that I had trouble with, which was Take It Easel. Um, except for that shade, every other shade that I tried was absolutely perfect. It did not take a lot of time to blend it out. It actually looked really, really nice. Which brings me to the next point that it is not crumbly. Now, when I talked about the transition palette from Dominique Cosmetics, that was very crumbly and I could feel that just from the from doing the swatches, um, before even applying it, when I used my brush on it, it was trying to crumble, but none of these shades did that for me except the glitter shade obviously because that's just how glitter formulations are they are crumbly uh very dusty in that sense but other than that nothing at all everything was perfect um in that sense number nine none of the shades are patchy except for that pastel shade that i talked about take it easel the uh, pastel blue except for that none of the shades are patchy none of them look like you know that I have to go over them again. Um, the blue was the that that blue was the only shade that I had to redo. And number ten, which is also the last point, um, is that it lasts more than five hours. I spent five hours uh, using this, so it can definitely last longer. Um, the only reason that I took it off was because I was done with it. <laughs> but otherwise, it's very um, long wearing on the lids, and I'm absolutely excited about that and I'm very much surprised by that because usually glitters are not um, the best. Um, that's one of the reasons why I hate glitter is that they don't last as long and then they end up just coming on to your cheeks and your face instead of just staying on the lids. But the, even these glitters um, stayed on the lids quite nicely. I would say 90 to 95% of the glitter stayed on my lids and very little was on my cheeks and now we can talk about my dislikes or the negatives that stuck out to me and first of all is a glaring um dislike which i have which is that it does not have a mirror i need my palettes to have a mirror in them i just need to because I, that's how I work. Even with this large mirror over here, you would think that I would just be doing my makeup looking at this mirror. But when I'm doing my eye makeup, I literally have my palette or whatever it is that I'm using for my eyes. And I use the mirror for, to go in and get a closer up look and stuff. Number two is the kickback. It definitely has a lot, a lot, a lot of kickback, which is something that you must have seen while uh, in the application video. If you haven't, you can go back to that. Um... But again, this is not a deal breaker for me um, because I do my eye makeup before my face makeup anyways and it's always good to dust off all the excess. But anyways, it, I would not recommend that you use this while you're wearing your nice clothes or after you've done your face makeup because that might cause a mess. So always, always when you're using this palette, always, always, always use this 
palette first, uh, you do your eyes first, don't wear good clothes because it is going to leave a huge mess. And that brings me to an end to both my likes and dislikes. You can find this at um, Ulta Beauty for $34 for 30 shades, which is not a bad deal at all. Like you're getting 30 shades for $34, that's like so good, especially for these awesomely performing shades. Each shade is so nice, so, I mean, it's so easy to use, so easy to blend, so pigmented. I think this is a hit for me. If you are looking for a rainbow palette um, that you just cannot seem to find, like a good one, then this is it. This is literally it. It's a nice supplement palette as well that you can use with different palettes. Uh, so I would definitely recommend this to everybody because I'm not saying that this is an everyday palette, but it can definitely help you elevate any kind of look that you want. The pan sizes are good as well. They're not they're not too tiny, but they're good. They're like this big. Definitely say that this palette is a must have. Um, I really really enjoyed it, and I will repurchase it. And now let's talk about my rating breakdown. And first of all, is performance. I'm gonna give it a whole point because it performed outstandingly for me uh, number two is price I'm gonna give it a whole point on that as well because it is a very reasonable price point for 30 shades um, and then there is uh, longevity and convenience I'm gonna give it a 0.75 because it does not come with a mirror and that definitely um, takes away some of the convenience that you have from a palette number four is recommendation and repurchase i'm definitely going to give a whole point on that because i do recommend this to everybody and i am going to repurchase it and then there is special features which i'm going to give a 0.75 on because i love the color story here i love the different finishes and all that i just don't like that it does not have a mirror in here it's it's something that every palette should have it's not too expensive to include in a palette, so I just don't understand why they don't have it. That brings my total Felicia's score to a 4.5 out of a 5, which makes this definitely a must-use palette, a must-have palette. I'm, I'm very excited to use this more often and create other looks with this. Um, so, if you want to see more looks from this palette, let me know in the comments what uh, color story you want or what shades you want me to play with, um, and I'll definitely... Uh, share some looks with you guys um, on my Instagram as well so follow me over there and on my TikTok and stuff where you can see a lot of swatches and reels and TikToks uh, and TikToks uh, involving this palette um, if you've used this before uh, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this let me know what your favorite product from Colourpop is so I can try it too and let me know what your favorite rainbow palette is or your most favorite colorful palette is uh, so I can try it out because I really really love having a colorful palette it I just it just took a really long time to actually find a good one um so definitely a keeper um but that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me stay tuned for my next video where i'm going to review the summer fridays uh jet lag mask i'm going to do a comparison between the original and the new version and what which one i think is better so stay tuned for that or hang back and watch one of my older videos